Okay, I'm going to run through how to add a gallery to WordPress using the Next Gen plugin. Um, from the dashboard, if you go down to Gallery, uh, click the arrow, we want to create a new gallery, so it's Add Gallery Images. Uh, we will just give it a quick title um, with no spaces and no, or you can have capitals, but no spaces. So click Add Gallery. Um, we've created the gallery space or the gallery holder, so we need to add some images to it now. So from the same screen, if we click on Upload Images, uh, we can browse the computer for the images we want to upload. Um, I will go into some that I have here from a previous gallery. Um, some YouTube pictures here, so you can select all at once and click open. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it has now grabbed those files from the computer and it wants to know which gallery to put them in. So I'm going to put it in the newly created gallery called Test. And the only other thing I have to do is click Upload Images. Uh, once you do that, depending on your connection, you can maybe take a little break for a while. Um, it's going to grab the images that you tell it to, upload them, and it's going to create thumbnails of all of the images as well. So it'll kind of do everything for you automated, um, automatically. So when this bar gets all the way across, the process is finished. So eight pictures have been successfully added. If we go back down to Manage Gallery, um, click on the Test Gallery, we can see that it's grabbed all of these um, images off the computer here. Um, we can give them slightly more descriptive titles than the default uh, file name that it adds there. So whatever is going, going on in the picture, if you just want to type it into either box here or both boxes probably would be the best process um, whatever that is there at U2 stage and we can just repeat that again and save changes down the bottom or up the top here now <coughs> once we've <coughs> excuse me once we've created this gallery we can add it to a page or a post on the WordPress site. So I'm just going to click Add New Post here. Um, it doesn't have to be added to a new page. It can be added to any existing page or post on the site. But if you put the cursor wherever you want the gallery to appear and if you click on one second, just so I can see all of my buttons here. Um, the next gen gallery plugin adds a button to your description bar or your uh, toolbar here called add next gen gallery. So if you click on that we get a pop-up which asks us um, a few questions. Um, first one is which gallery do we want to add to this new post? So we want to add the test gallery and the next question is how do we want to show this particular gallery we have three options the image list is a simple um, collection of thumbnails that you click on and it will open up a, a bigger version and a higher resolution version of the image the slideshow as the name suggests is an actual flash slideshow which can have transitions and fades and even music if you're so inclined the image br browser shows the the high res photograph with next and previous links on the bottom so my favorite is the image list take that and click insert and then um, we will publish this page uh, <coughs> well we'll give it a title first maybe <laughs> gallery test uh, you can have whatever other text you want above and below this code here but make sure you do leave that uh, code in there it's necessary 
if that doesn't uh, stay there then the the value doesn't uh, the gallery doesn't get shown so um <coughs> you can do whatever else you'd normally do for a, a wordpress post choose a category choose some uh keywords and the like and when you're finished click on publish uh, my publish button is here and we'll have a quick look at this on the front end of the website to see how it looks just to check that everything has gone okay now we click on view post so I've called the post gallery test and thumbnails have been created all eight of them and if we click on any everything seems fine there's the description that I added for that particular thumbnail U2 stage and I can browse through here or I can go back and click another one so everything's fine and that's the end of this video tutorial thank you